let's jump right into the video of Disney Dreamlight Valley for being a like I don't like really consider myself as a content creator I just love making the videos and giving you guys the news and the updates and the breakdown now my thoughts when the, seeing the posts and seeing other people's videos of their thoughts on Disney Dreamlight Valley and seeing that post, yes, I was excited seeing the trailer. It was remarkable. There is one upside and a positive and there is one con and dislike the one is for the free the play players so far the game is not coming out free to play i'm not even sure if the game's going to come out free to play i guess in due time it will tell in the future of what they have plans going in the future in the game and see what's gonna go on so i definitely can understand the frustration waiting for this game to fully release and waiting for it then on top of it for the game for like the access players and as the time goes on I will be given my opinion more of opinion after the week is over of when the update and everything releases I did go through the blog post I will put it down and below the question is for the people that already have the game I'm not highly sure if we're getting everything in the golden um, edition. I don't know if we have to pay for that. Because how they word it in their post. But for new players that don't have the game already. Either they're going to have to pay the $70 or get the game before December 4th before it leaves the shop because it will go on sale and I don't know if you guys want to play it on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, or PC. If you're wondering what console to go with or what platform you should play on I will say go with the platform that you play most on don't listen to the people that are saying Nintendo Switch is no good this game does not run that good on Nintendo Switch I just want to make that clear go with the console or whatever gaming device you use more that you get benefits out of now for the breakdown of this screen that I have up here of their chart. If you, after December 5th, once the 4th comes in, you'll have Disney Dreamlight, the first one. You get the base game. You do not get the um, Rift in Time. You'll get the digital available and moonstones. That is like $30.99. You barely don't get anything out of that. Then the next one is the cozy edition. The only thing is with the cozy edition, this is $50. Obviously, you get a companion, the house skin, and moonstone and a Cheshire shirt but the only problem is it only comes for Nintendo Switch, P 
PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox, and Xbox S. It does not come out for PC or Xbox Series S, the one that is not digital. So any console that is not digital, it will not work. Now, here comes the other one of the part. If you guys are new to the game and looking forward to the game, this one costs about $70 plus tax. I do not know how much it will cost in other countries. You will get the base game of the Golden Edition. You'll get the base game. Plus, you'll get the Rift of Time. Plus, the digitally thing. 1,500 Moonstones. You'll get a cottage house, a companion, and overall shirt. I will show you what they look like when I get done explaining this. Then if you already have the game and you don't feel like spending the $70, if we do not get the Rift thing, like they say in their blog post, hopefully they can clear that up to make it less confusing for players. For this, for the $29.99, you get the Rift Tour. Rift in Time of Disney Dreamlight Valley. So you have to have the base game. And plus you, ha you will get the tour and you already have the game downloaded. And 500 Moonstones for $30. Now if every year... After, like, this one ends, I'm pretty sure they're going to repeat this process. And I don't know if anything will change over time once it hits 2025. And when they release the new roadmap for 2024 to see where we're headed. Now, back to this part. There's Elsa. This is the cottage you will be getting with the golden edition cosmetic, cosmet, cosmetic awards. It's the cottage. Um, you get the outfit as well and the companion. Which is all cute and stuff like that. Now, for the ones that are... Not happy with Disney Dreamlight Valley and stuff. I completely understand. Especially if they're, they were also saying this game was going to come out free to play. Obviously now we know it's not going to officially release free to play anytime soon. I don't know if they're going to release it in the future or what not. Of the breakdown. So I can understand the frustration of what's going on. The thing that Disney Dreamlight Valley needs to do is be more clear to the consumers of what's coming out. Things can change and I think as soon as they change their mind they need to update people right away on social media so as us as content creators because if it gets delayed in a way it kind of it kind of makes me feel bad because like I don't want to give you guys like the wrong info of Disney Dreamlight Valley and the info I'm only going off the info that they post and their website and their social media. And 
with this game yes it is cute do i think it's worth buying in my opinion yes because i definitely enjoyed this game um the question is would you be interested as a player and what you saw from other content creators and to make your decision and where you're gonna go what you're gonna do if you definitely do not mind paying for the paid extinct the ones that were free to play players if you don't mind then go for it if you do mind like you don't you lost interest it um it's hard to say and hard to like um trying to think of words of like because it kind of sucks when it was like it's like oh we're coming out free to play and it gets pushed back and now we get the news that it's not coming out free to play and it's like half of the community is divided half of the communities okay happy and some of the communities not so happy which I understand. I just wish they are more upfront and tell you what's going on. Um, the thing is with um, base games like this, it goes for anything. If you're going to play a game and if you enjoy it, then you should definitely get this game. And I don't regret getting the Founders Edition at all. And I don't regret getting, buying it twice because like, I love helping out new players. And I just don't want this game to go in the direction as Disney Speedstorm. Now, that's a game that I do regret of getting. If I knew what was in that game, I would have never got it in the first place. And I believe they don't want to make the same mistake as they did with Speedstorm and all of that. Now, we live in a generation because, like, in the... 80s and 90s we were used to a game where what was in the game that was what was in the game if you beat the game you beat the game it's not like we could pay for new stuff we didn't have microtransactions and that's the path it seems like a lot of games are going in the direction of I know it's hard like you don't have that kind of money to spend on things so you gotta ask yourself like what games do you like to play um how much time your effort you're gonna put in a game And, like, you do not have to, well, technically, in one way, you do have to, if you want to play this game and you don't have anything to, um, play this game, you have to buy now, like, once December 4th comes around, you have to buy, like, one of the... Technically, from what I'm seeing, when it releases on the 5th, it's either you gotta pay for the golden edition. Because if new players haven't 
that's the decision that they're going to have to make is either pick one of these because obviously you have to have the game to play it. And if you don't have the game, then they're stuck of paying $70. Now the question is when the new one comes out for 2025 is it gonna look similar like this and with different cosmetics for the um copy the physical copy i believe that's gonna stay the same and that's gonna be on the shelf so i can probably confirm that one they're probably gonna keep that one the cozy edition out for a long time um if you buy it digitally on whatever platform you guys choose to the question is if you want the paid extension you would have to go with the seventy dollars that's where it comes in and is it going to cross Disney Dreamlight Valley for this decision? That is the question. That is a question and answer. Is it going to cross Disney Dreamlight Valley for new players when they were promised the game will come out for free to play? And we've been playing this since early access and like the streamers and content creators believed that it was going to come out free to play and it's like now they changed their minds at the moment and don't want it to come out free to play so the question is what's going to happen in the future It is just so hard to tell. That I'm not even sure. Looks like we need one more. I don't know how to feel. And it's going to be mixed. I guess once I see their video and get more info, see where they're going at. I guess it's going to make it a little bit easier to understand what direction they're going at. And I think Disney Dreamlight Valley should come out with the statement of like why they didn't want to come out with free to play for people. That would make a lot more sense. Because it's not fair and it's like I don't like giving out misinfo to people I like to keep it real and simple and know the details where I can give you guys Completed a quest. I don't know. That's all I gotta say for now. Um. Otherwise. I'm still gonna enjoy Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'm still gonna play and still invest in it. As well. Um. 
But at the end of the day, it's your choice on the free-to-play players, what you guys want to do. And if you guys want to buy the game, just buy it. If you love the gameplay and love what you're seeing and you want it, you just might as well pay for the game and wait for pay for the finder's edition then wait to pay for the standard it will be cheaper that way that's the only advice that i can give you for now otherwise i will keep you guys updated and i do have a blog video that will be coming out i just have to edit it as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will let you guys know how I feel within December. Within two weeks of December. And with all the info and the updates that are coming up. I will keep you up to date with everything as well. So please stay tuned for updates and the magic videos as well so it's your choice at the end of the day i don't want to force anybody to get this game and if you guys do decide to get this game i don't think anybody will regret it if you guys are walking away from the game Please don't because you already invest in the game as well. And But at the end of the day, who am I to say you guys can do whatever you guys want. It's your choice. That's all I got to say. Thank you guys for watching. All my links will be down and below. And my links. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell for all notifications. Beauty Butterfly will always try to stay true to what's going on and what to expect from the game. And just remember, due time, every game will always change a direction or make decisions behind the scenes. So we have to remember that as well. So we'll see how it goes in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Hashtag Beauty Butterfly. Bye for now.